Talk NY caught up with Lola Monroe and she discusses the lack of unity among today's female MCs and how she feels about being compared to Nicki Minaj. Um, the support in female rap with each other that plays a part. Queen Latifah back in Queen Latifah days and MC Light days, they supported each other. Queen Latifah actually had a birthday party and she had everyone came out to every all the female rappers come out to her birthday party so it was a lot of support in the game um so i think the support plays a part um i think the kind of well i think it's it's really support i think it's support and the fact that yeah that plays a major part mm -hmm. and um how it's just, it's just hard for females it's hard for females and you really have to be strong you really have to be strong because they can break you you can easily be broke and they go hard at females so much that you have to go harder than these dudes in the game so um strength plays a major part so a lot of people keep comparing you to Nicki Minaj for some reason. Like, how do you feel about being compared to her? And do you think that your sound is anything like hers? Why people would even think that? Well, I think the fact that female rap is, uh, is a small category for female rap. And it's not too many female rappers out there. So I think that plays a major part in the comparing. Like, they have no choice but to compare the ones that are out there. When you, ha you have male rap, and there are so many male rappers that it's kind of hard to compare. You can't compare, like, 20 different rappers to each other. It's kind of, it's, it's different. So that plays a major part in it. Um, I think Nikki is a dope artist, you know, she does her thing. So shout out to Nikki. But I honestly don't feel like we sound the same at all. Um, she does her own thing and I'm in my own lane also. Our music is different. We talk about two different things. So I think the fact that it's just us in the game, uh, not necessarily us, but it's just a few female rappers in the game right now that are really out there with their music so that plays a major part in the comparison and i don't really listen to nikki's music like that not saying not no offense to her music at all because she's a dope artist like i said but if you go back to my past interviews wayne was my favorite artist i'm talking about from the carter one carter two mixtape back the mixtape back the mixtape so he his music is like something that i continuously listen to and there would be at times where i would before i go out for the studio i'll be listening to his music so the whole fluctuation in his voices that you know he does like that'll that plays a part in you know when i would write my music or when i would flow it so um you'd hear like kind of similar things so i had to actually sit down and ask myself like okay what's going on because it doesn't even make sense like I don't even think our music is alike in any type of way so where's the comparison coming from so I would assume you know the fact that I listen to Wayne's music and Wayne plays a part in um, my foundation a bit mm -hmm. that comes from it and she's his protege you feel me so you know they have um I guess kind of similarities but she's in her own lane she does her own thing our music is totally different in my opinion so um that might be it but i don't know <laughs> for the full lola monroe interview log on to realtalkny.net for all of your hip-hop and entertainment news